I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another tier ranking video and this video is all about the R flag means death characters. Now before we get into this video, this is not me ranking the characters on how much I like them uh, because that would be too difficult. Similar to the one I did with ghosts when, when I ranked the ghosts characters and how much I'd want them to haunt me, this is, this is like how much I'd want to like be on a ship with them because the characters are all, I love all the characters so much, well most of them. So the rankings for this video will be Oh Captain My Captain which is the first one, basically being like, like this person has like my ultimate respect and trust. I would like trust them to lead me into battle. I trust them to keep me safe. I trust them to be a good leader. Um, yeah, it's like I admire this person. Uh, the next person would be like bunkmates. So like we're really close friends. We'd get on really well, but not somebody I'd necessarily want kind of captaining leading everybody I guess. Uh, the next one is shipmates. Like we'll get along. We work together well, but like we're not really anything more than that. Uh, the next one would be like, I'm just terrified of you um, and yeah, I don't think you're a good person but I'm too scared of you to put you in the bottom one. And the bottom one is walk the plank, like I would not want to be on a ship with you, like absolutely not, ever. Uh, so yeah, that's the rankings and I've got most of the, I, I swear, I have really hope I haven't missed any of the main cast but I feel like I've got all the main cast and some of the like, side characters that I'm going to be ranking today. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start with the main character, obviously, Steed. And Steed, even though he is a captain, I don't think I would trust him to like keep me safe, keep me protected in battle. So he's not gonna go on the top one, but I feel like, you know, he's a genuinely really good person. He's the only kind of pirate captain that actually treats his crew with respect and like human beings, like giving them, like paying them, giving them breaks. Um, so, yeah, and like encouraging vacation, I guess. Um, so I feel like he's generally a wonderful person. I feel like we could chat a lot about like a lot of books and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's not gonna be in the top one because I feel like he would get me killed. Um, yeah, so he's gonna go into bunk mates. I feel like we would get along. He's funny, he's sweet. Um, you know, I feel like he would do, he has like pure intentions, he has good intentions, but yeah. Uh, so next up, I have got Ed slash Blackbeard. And if you notice, I do have two ones here because Ed and Blackbeard are so different characters. So Ed, I'm going to put probably, ooh, one or two in, I can't decide whether I'm gonna put him in one or two, I'll pop him in two for now. So Ed is there, I think Ed is sweet, he's nice, he just wants to kind of be loved and appreciated and I, yeah, I think he's he's a wonderful guy. Uh, Blackbeard, on the other hand, I am terrified of Blackbeard and I would not want to be on a ship that Blackbeard is, like, captaining. Is that a word? I keep saying that, that, like, he's in charge of. I would feel scared all the time and, yeah. But on the plus side, you would get a lot of money. It is nice, you know, to be kind of like a feared pirate. Uh, so he's going to go in, I'm terrified of you because I would be too scared to make him walk the plank. Uh, so yeah, that's where he's going to go. So next up is Jim and I'm going to try not to be biased on this because Jim is one of my favourite characters. Yeah, I love Jim. Um, yeah, I feel like they would protect me. Uh, they're smart, good in battle. I feel like I could trust them to lead a ship as well. They're clever as well, I've always said that. So I think Jim is gonna be the first one to go up in Oh Captain, My Captain, because I would trust them to kind of keep, yeah, to keep me safe, to keep me alive. Um, yeah, and super cool knife tricks as well, which is awesome, always love that. Next up is Lucius, and again, I'm very torn between two categories with Lucius. Do I trust him? to kind of lead me into battle, no. But he is a lot smarter than I initially thought when I like kind of rewatched it, thought about it a bit more. He knows how to keep himself safe and he knows how to keep the people he likes safe. He is, yeah, he's very smart. He's one of the only pirates who can read and write. Um, he is sarcastic, he's funny. So yeah, I'm really, really torn with this one. I feel like I'm gonna put him in the top one because I, yeah, every time 
like when I'm rewatching it, I'm just amazed by how much of a clever character he is. And he's funny as well. So I feel like he's definitely in Bunkmates. But whether or not he goes up to that top one, I'm still undecided. But I feel like he is kind of nearing that one to me. Um, it's kind of same with Ed. Like, I, I feel like he could probably go up into the top one as well because I do love Ed so much. But I feel like I'd just be scared that, like, I would do something wrong and Blackbeard would come out again. Um, but yeah, Lucius, I love. Yeah, I'll put him in the top one for now. We'll see. Next up is Oluwande. And again, I'm trying not to be biased, but, you know, I think he is a amazing character again he's smart he's kind i feel like he does everything with good intentions and i think we definitely see this with like the final scene where everybody elects him as captain and i feel like i would be on board with that i feel like i'd be like yes he is a perfect captain he is fair um but like i feel like he would be um you know strict in a way but like you know kind about it uh, i think his only downfall which is not really that much of a downfall is just that he's a bit of a simp for Jim but I love that as well I feel like they are a perfect couple I together I think those two make the perfect like captain I think anyway he's gonna go up into number one. Oh, captain my captain because yeah if I was stuck on a desert island with all of the characters and was like who is going to be the best person here to lead I would probably pick him next up is Frenchie and yeah oh okay um I really like Frenchie um again he's one of those characters where he kind of is played off as a bit like dumb, but like he is quite smart as well. Um, so obviously his way of looking at the world is so interesting to me, you know, <laughs> thinking cats are witches and he's just a bit weird, but I love that. And again, the musical talent, I feel like that would keep me entertained. He is very good at it. Um, in my opinion, I think it's, it's, it's fun. I feel like he'd be very good. Um, and also when him and uh on one day scammed those rich people <laughs> i just thought that was so smart and i think yeah he, there's more than what meets the eye with frenchie yeah because even blackbeard chose frenchie to be on his ship afterwards i'm pretty sure which i think that was a smart decision so i'm gonna put him in bunkmates again not sure if i'd follow him to battle but i just i think he's a great character and i yeah i think we'd get along uh next up is black pete and I love Black Pete, but would I want to be bunkmates with him? I don't think I would. I think he is a very funny character. I think he is, you know, inside, very kind-hearted. I love how much he's into Lucius as well. But I feel like I would get annoyed with, like, kind of all the lies he tells or just, like, elaborated things that happen. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Like, talking about how he knew Blackbeard and, like, you know, he's obviously lying. I'm going to put him in shipmate. I feel like we could get along, but not enough that I would want to share a room with him. Yeah, that's where I'm going to put him. Yeah, that's all I have really to say on that one. Yeah, I think he's a great character. I just don't think I would get on with living with him. So next up is Izzy. And I love Izzy as a character. Um, I know a lot of people just like hate him completely, but I think he is a fantastic character. Uh, yeah, I, I do really like him. Uh, would absolutely not want to be on a ship with him. Uh, he is has some weird issues with Blackbeard that I just do not want would not want to get into. Yeah, I would feel just constantly terrified. He treats kind of the ship his like uh, crewmates as like beneath him and like almost like slaves, which I would not appreciate. Uh, so I'm gonna put him. Someone has to go and walk the plank. So I think I'm gonna put put him there. I am also terrified of him though but I think he'd go in there. Next up is Wee John, and I think he is a very hilarious character. I really enjoy him. Yeah, again, I think a lot with a lot of these characters, I think he is very, like, kind-hearted in nature. I loved him talking about how much, like, how he would, like, make dresses with his mum. I thought that was really sweet. Yeah, I wish he actually got more screen time. Um, He was, like, kind of, like, more prevalent in the earlier episodes, but I definitely wish he was in a bit more. I don't think I'd want to share a room with him, just because of how much he kind of like goes on about fire and blowing things up and I just wouldn't I wouldn't feel completely safe but I'm not necessarily like scared of him because he is like again like I said he seems like a very like kind-hearted person so I'm going to put him in to shipmates I think we yeah I think we'd get get along enough we'd work together well but yeah not necessarily would want to to live with him uh next up is buttons and well there is a lot to go into about buttons <laughs> again as a character i love him he's fantastic you know talking to carl all the time we've got a, a bird man on the on the 
uh, on the ship. Like, he's loyal. He's loyal to his steed. He tells him about his mutiny, like, the plans for mutiny. It is so weird, <laughs> and I think I'd have to put him in, I'm terrified of you, because I would not want to live with him. I... I think every day would be unexpected and not in a good way. Even as a shipmate, I think he... I don't think he'd be the best, so I'm going to have to put him... put him there. I, again, I love him as a character, but he is an odd one, and lots of issues there to go through. <laughs> but, like, he'd be fun to keep around, that's why I'm not kicking him off the ship. Oh, next up is Roach, and obviously Roach is a chef, a very good one by the sounds of it, even the actor as well. Like, I am so tempted to make a video making that orange... Uh, that 40 orange cake thing because uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. I don't think there's anything particularly about him that would want me, that I would want to like kind of live with him but then there's not really anything that really puts me off living with him either. So I'm going to put him in the middle but again I feel like he would definitely go up a bit more. I think he is yeah just a great character. Yeah and very vital to a ship as well. He cooks very nice food. <laughs> Next up is the Swede and I think he's probably going to go in the middle um again there's nothing that really like really like kind of draws me in that would make me want to like live with him but there's nothing again really that like completely puts me off like yes he gets scurvy so it's probably not a great indication of his like hygiene and he is a bit odd um but i'm not really scared of him as much as I am like buttons or, or you know, so I'm, I'm putting them, put them in the middle. Oh next up I've, I've just combined the two twins into one so is it Nigel, Captain Nigel and Chauncey Badminton, apologies if they're wrong, um, but yeah I don't like either of these characters, as, I mean, as characters they're great for the story, uh, but they're too elitist, uh, they're too mean, like just kind of like, I, I don't, I think they're completely like the opposite of kind-hearted, I think what, everything they do is kind of like, I just don't like their intentions, I don't like their attitude, um, so yeah, they're gonna go there in the bottom one. So next up, a couple of kind of like lower characters, um, like side characters, ones that I wish we that I really hope we're gonna get more screen time with. Um, but but again, ones that we I can't really like talk about too much. So first we have Ivan, and I think he's a great character. I love Gus Khan as well. Yeah, I hope we get more screen time of him. I'm a bit scared of him and Fang, which we'll get into in a bit. Um, but we're gonna pop him there. And again, as I said, Fang. Uh, I love that scene where, <laughs> where Lucius is talking to him about being like painted or like sketched. Um, but again, I'm going to pop in the middle one. I just don't think we have enough screen time of them for me to properly decide what uh, category they're going to go into. I like them, but I'm very happy when both of them come on screen. But again, I don't think I'd want to live in the same kind of like room as either, with either of them. And I'm not, I'm a bit scared of them. So they're probably in between these two because I am. I am quite scared of them as well. And next, oh, lastly, actually, we have Spanish Jackie. Ooh, again, a fantastic character. But would I want, I, would I want to live with her? I don't think I would. Um, I feel like, yeah, she's smart. Actually, she's going to have to go and I'm terrified of, because I am terrified of her. She has a nose jar. I'm terrified of that. That's scary. But she's very badass. Like, I, yeah, she's cool. I'd, I would trust her to protect me if I was always loyal to her. But I feel like she might, you know, one day think that I'm not loyal to her or think I'm not of, not as use and then kind of like toss me aside. So that's where she's going there. But I feel like if you get obviously like on her good side, then like you, you know, you'd be going places. But so I think that's everything. I really hope I haven't missed any important characters. I can't think of any off the top of my head. I apologise if I have. I might change my, my mind in a few hours, <laughs> but what's done is done. This is my list. Yeah, this is fun. Difficult, but fun. And yeah, uh, let me know what your rankings are. I'm very interested to see. Because yeah, I feel like if it was ranking on how much I just enjoy the characters, this list would be a lot different. If you liked this video, then please leave a like. Uh, it's really appreciated and it really helps the channel. And yeah, as I said, comment down below what your rankings are, what you think of my rankings, and subscribe if you want to see more videos to do with our Flagman's death, because I'm sure I'll make some more soon, or if I don't make any more, then I'll have loads of videos about TV-related things. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!